Robert. Um, next up, we have Sean Andrist from Computer Science. You've probably heard the expression that the eyes are the windows to the soul. And that's because we don't just use our eyes to see, we use our eyes to communicate with each other, both consciously and unconsciously. So we look at the things and people that we like, we look away from each other when we're feeling uncomfortable. Turns out we also look away when we're about to start speaking, and we look toward the next person that we expect to speak next. And so we're constantly reading these signals from each other, and they make our conversations go much more smoothly. But what about for robots? If we give robots eyes and enable them to use those eyes like people do, can that make conversations with robots go more smoothly? That's what my PhD research is about. I develop models of social gaze behavior for humanoid robots like this uh, to make them better communicators. So imagine a robot that, a personal robot that could help motivate you to exercise more. Uh, or to build that IKEA furniture that you just bought. <laughs> or imagine a robot that can help you when you get old, to help you take your medication, stay active, uh, and to just retain your independence. So in my research, I follow a three-step methodology to design useful gaze behaviors for these types of robots. So first, I want to understand a particular human gaze behavior by studying real people. Then I computationalize that understanding meaning I turn it into an algorithm that I can implement on a robot platform. Then I evaluate the robot's use of that gaze behavior to see if it actually improves interactions with real people. So I've carried out several projects using this methodology. In one of them, I was interested in when do people look away from each other in conversation? So we don't just stare at each other all the time, right? Our gaze is constantly darting around and we actually have to remind ourselves to make more eye contact when we do things like job interviews. But for robots, eye contact is not an issue. They will stare you in the eyes all day, no problem. But that's not good, because looking away once in a while uh, is actually very important. So I brought pairs of people into our lab, and I just had them have a conversation with each other. And I measured very precisely when and how they were looking away from each other during that conversation. I then implemented what I observed on one of our robots, and I invited new people to come in and have conversations with that robot. And so what I observed is that these conversations were much more fluid when the robot looked away correctly. So they interrupted each other less, uh, and people actually just enjoyed talking with that robot more. In other projects, I've shown that robots can use their gaze to help people learn better, uh, to express a personality, and to better motivate people in rehabilitation. So even though robots may not have souls, I believe that their eyes can be the windows to more effective interactions. Thank you.